In yesterday's video, we stopped and got some electrical supplies, right? Because we need to change some switches and a plug here in our house. And so today I thought I'd just show you kind of how I'm going to do that here in Indonesia because some of it's a little bit different maybe than uh, back in America. And so you might be interested in seeing that difference. We're going to change out this switch right here. Now this is a standard plug here. They're actually 220 volts or maybe 240, but anyway, 220, 240 volts, 50 hertz or 50 cycles. And so if you come to Indonesia and you want to plug something in here, make sure you read on it, right, what the voltage is. Uh, most, like most electronics can handle anywhere from 110 up to 240 or 110 up to 220. And so not really a problem, just the shape of the plug might be different. But you just want to make sure sometimes shavers, hair dryers, like irons and different types of, of things that have a motor on them uh, might not work here. And so you don't want to just use an adapter. You have to use a converter to use it here in Indonesia. And so we're going to change this switch out right here. This is actually the switch to the bathroom. Here in Indonesia, most of the time, the switch for the bathroom is outside of the bathroom. And so like you can mess with people when they're in the bathroom. You can flip the lights off and on because they're in there and you're out here but this one doesn't work anymore. And so we look in here at the bathroom, you see our hot water heater for our shower right here. Well, it goes up to there and then it connects to the light. That's actually where it gets its power, which gets its power from right here. And so right now we have cold showers in the dark. Let's fix it. Okay, the first thing we need to do is turn the power off here. This right here is our power meter and the main breaker for the house. So we'll just go ahead and switch this off. Now we can go change the switch. All right, so first thing, we're just gonna go ahead and get this switch ready. These are like little teeth that are gonna bite into the hole and hold it in place. And so first we'll just go ahead and loosen those up so that they'll go flat and slide into the hole easily when it's time for it to go in there. All right, that ought to be good. Let's go ahead and see about taking this guy out. See what happens. I think just because we turn the power off doesn't necessarily mean that this is 100% safe. So we'll still be careful. Uh oh, but the wires are awful short. Why? That's kind of a pain. Let's see, let's go ahead and pop these guys out. It's one. Well, that's actually two, three. And four. So you just push these buttons down. All right, so we've got the new one. Now we just push these wires in the holes here and they'll be secured in there. There's no screws or anything you have to do. You just push them back in there and then push it back in the hole. Okay, we got the power turned on back out front. Now we're gonna test it here before we put it all back together. So let's test it. Ready? Oh, look at that. It works. Yay. Okay, so we push it, we push it all in the hole here, all the way in there. Then we tighten up these screws here, and those little teeth should come out and grab onto the side of the wall in there, and hold it in place. There we go. Works. Fix this guy while we're here. There we go. All right guys, so that's how you fix a light switch here in Indonesia. We have got light and hot water in our bathroom again, so everything is good.